Okay, I'm going to talk about Chaotic Gormagala's armor set and its two standout skills, right? So you've got Strife and Berserk. Berserk is the main one to really take note of. So what it says is, switch to the blue swap scroll and all vitality will change to red gauge and start decreasing. As long as you have red, you cannot faint. And what this actually means is, while you're in blue scroll, you take zero damage from monsters attacks the only damage you take is from your health slowly decreasing that is all the damage you take so i think that this is probably the strongest skill that they've ever added um i don't see anything being able to beat being immortal and the thing is, is this is extremely powerful right extremely powerful you don't take any damage while in blue scroll but you also have to deal with the fact that your health is draining. And on top of that, this armor set also has Bloodlust, which also um, drains your health. So you have two uh, effects, essentially, that drain your health. And it can start draining pretty fast, especially when your health bar gets very low. Right? So it's not a completely safe um, skill to use, right? There's It's high risk, but... Also, once you become immortal, essentially. So I think it's balanced pretty well. My only gripe is that while you're in blue scroll, you can heal with pretty much everything. Your teammates can heal you with life powder. You can heal with max potions and just regular potions, mega potions, all that stuff. And I don't think you should be able to do that. I think that you should have to heal through another type of resource or that you should have to switch back to red scroll in order to heal. Another thing, with Strife, while your um, increase, it, what what it does is increases elemental attack and affinity in proportion to the length of your red health gauge, right? So this pairs well with Berserk, right? And so this level three further increases attack power in accordance to health gauge and max out attack for an infinite stamina effect. So pretty pretty powerful, but. Strife really isn't all that important. And so, essentially what a build I'm going to try to work towards is I'm going to swap out the Waste, the um, Chaotic Gormagala Waste, for Malzino's because it has Blood Blight. And I'm going to try to fit Part Breaker in. And so I'll have Part Breaker and Blood Blight. So if I break a monster's parts, then I'll be healing as I do damage to them basically like um, I'm fighting an afflicted monster. So I can stay in blue scroll for as long as possible, is the plan, right? Obviously, I have to curious armor craft Malzino's waist to be able to do that. But I think that that's going to be a pretty good setup. Also, something incredibly useful that you want if you're going to use this kind of uh, this armor set is Dango Shifter level 4. You want Dango Shifter level 4 because, obviously, when you switch to Blue Scroll, your health starts draining. And if you have Dango Shifter level 4, you get a lot of health back whenever you shift. So, you see, right, I'm missing a lot of health, but I switch back, and now I've got a full health bar of red. So, once again, Dango Shifter you want at level 4. There's a 70% chance of it activating, so you're not gonna you know, have this guaranteed every time, but it's highly likely that you'll have it. And you definitely want it because it's very helpful. Also, another helpful skill is either recovery speed or um, recovery up, right? Obviously, because when you're in blue scroll, your health starts draining pretty quickly, and so if you've got recovery up, you know, you could just use a mega potion and regen a very large chunk of your health and not have to worry about switching back, right? So, I think that all of those skills are going to be pretty good, but I'll kind of demonstrate the fact that you're immortal because, I don't know, maybe people won't believe me um, when I say that you're immortal, so... I'll just take as many hits as I can 
to kind of prove that you're basically immortal. And also, whenever you um, get rid of Malzino, or not Malzino, uh, Chaotic Gormagala's uh, Frenzy Blight, you also regen your max health bar. So you get all of your health back whenever you get rid of that effect. Which is also pretty helpful. So, just getting hit like crazy doesn't really matter. Switch back, and you can kind of see the damage that he's doing when I'm not in Blue Scroll. So you kind of get a comparison, right? You see, I did half of my health, well, more than half of my health in actuality, but um, in Blue Scroll, that did nothing. So, once again, in Blue Scroll, you are immortal. As long as you've got red health, you are immortal. The entire time, it doesn't matter what hits you. It doesn't matter. Once again, you see my health is draining really quickly because it's stacking with um, the Frenzy Blight. So, that's why I suggest Dango Shifter, because you don't even need to use healing items. Obviously, if you've got NPCs, they're going to use healing items, but even if they don't, it doesn't matter because you'll just get your health back naturally from, you know, switching scrolls, so. But anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to showcase was um, Berserk and Strife. Strife increases your affinity and your attack and all that stuff. Well, Coalescence increases your attack, but, you know, either way, it's a pretty interesting armor set, and... The only thing that this set is really missing is Resuscitate, so that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's got pretty much everything you want with a set that uh, involves a, a Blight. It's also missing one level of Bloodlust, which is kind of odd. But maybe you could Curious Armor Craft and, you know, get level 3. But either way... It's a very interesting armor set, and I definitely think it's one that's worth trying out. It is very hard to get used to, though, because, once again, it is a very specific type of playstyle. And you have to be very, very careful and aware of your health bar at all times. Because if not, then you are going to die. So, it's high risk, but it's an extremely powerful skill that... I think it's worth trying. But anyways, that's all.